I just got back from my workout for the day and my Pro Mix electric USB shaker cup uh, is sitting at my front door. I'm not even gonna change my clothes. I just wanna unbox this and show it to you. So if you're thinking about buying the Pro Mix or any of the electronic or electric USB uh, shaker cups, you might think that that's silly. Uh, au contraire, bonjour, I'm gonna prove you wrong. So let's get started. As usual, if you find this video to be helpful, please hit like on it, maybe even the subscribe button. I do these types of videos and other health and fitness videos several times a week, so it would be much appreciated. Got this off of Amazon. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below so that if you're interested in this particular mixer or any of the other uh, electric mixer cups, check it out. So if you've watched my other video for the one of the other cups, um, I originally thought whenever I started getting into electric cups that it was a stupid gimmick. Um, like why not just get a regular cup and shake it? And to my surprise, uh, electric cups have been my number one cup use, uh, cup of use or cup of choice for the last probably four months now, maybe five months. Uh, I hate using a regular shaker cup now. So this is the Pro Mix. Um, like a bunch of the cups on Amazon, it ranges right around the $30 mark depending on the color that you get. Some of the colors are a little bit more expensive. Uh, I always tend to just go for the least expensive cup. I don't care too much about uh, the color. Um, like the others that I've seen, it comes in a nice sort of just packaged um, box here that's just got some stuff on it that I'm probably not gonna read right now. Now, these cups, and the way that they're designed are predominantly designed the same way. They're gonna have a little thing in the middle of them to swirl your drinks around. Uh, we've got a few things here asking probably for reviews. I'll look at that in a little bit. And so when we open this up, we have the Pro Mix cup. That's just some stuff. And it does seem to be that predominantly it's the gray or the black colored cups that are the uh, least expensive ones, which works out fine with me because that's my favorite series of colors anyways. So a couple of things right off the bat. If you haven't seen one of these before, they typically come with a base that has a, uh, a port of some sort that you will plug the cable that comes with it in to a USB port and charge it like that. And it's usually got some sort of series of colors when you plug it in. It lights up real nicely on the top. And then what you do, you just take something like this, you squeeze it, turn it until it locks into place. Um, and that's this one. So a couple of things right off the bat here as well that I'm kind of noticing is um, this one, the little doodad there doesn't want to stay in, which there it goes. So it's important that these covers, they all kind of have some sort of rubber covers on the bottom. Uh, it's always important to make sure that they seal tightly because you are dealing with liquids in this. Although it's not probably normal to get liquids on it, it is sometimes there's overspill and overflow, then you want to make sure that the parts here are protected the holes that go in here specifically. Um, let's open the top here. So this one's a little bit different. It's got some sort of an extra cup here that I have not seen before. I'm not exactly sure. It's, uh, let's see, it says Nutripod. So it's some sort of little, oh, okay. So if you had, um, let's say your protein powder, you didn't want to mix it right now. You can put your protein powder in here, seal it up and it just sits nicely in the top of the cup, kind of sits in just like that. So you could fill your cup with water, go ahead and put your powder in here and it won't mix until later. You could also do stuff, I guess, like uh, supplements and things like that, pills, whatever it is that you take, put it in there. It looks like it is uh, waterproof. It's got a nice little seal there. So that's kind of neat. I have not seen something like that before. There's what the inside of the cup looks like. You can see the little spinny thing in there. I'm trying to get a nice good look. It always kind of looks like some sort of weird thing from like Stargate or like a He-Man sword looking type of deal. It sits there in the middle. And so what will happen is we're going to charge the base. We're going to put liquid in it. And then we're going to hit a button here. And then it's going to spin that thing very quickly. Uh, again, if you haven't watched my other videos, it's been surprising to me how well these stir powders. I'm gonna stir a protein powder in here in just a second, which is usually a little bit more thick than some other powders. Um, I can't stand cups, shaker cups, when you shake them up and you go to drink and it doesn't mix them thoroughly. Um, I've These cups have completely eliminated, up till now, that problem for me. I can't drink a drink if it's got chunkies in it. And so far, all of my experiences with electric cups has completely solved that, which is why they have been my cup of choice for a while. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. By the way, here's the little lid at the top. They all kind of have just a little push down, pull up, nothing too fancy there. But a nice size drinking 
um, orifice there. And I'm going to put the charger in here. You don't want to watch all this. I'm going to go ahead and charge this up. I mean, so far the construction looks good. I will say that the base here is a little bit heavier than some of the other bases that I've experienced. I mean, not by much, but as soon as I'm holding it, I can tell it's a little bit, um, a little bit heavier. So I'm actually going to plug this in while we're sitting here together. And so you can see it light up just so you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. And then once it's charged, I'll let you know how long it took to do a total charge and we'll do an actual demonstration of uh, the thing mixing and show you how well it, it works, hopefully. So let's see here, I've got this plugged in. What I'm going to do is gonna go back to this little doodad here and just pull it out. It's got just a little port in there. I'm going to plug this in. All right, fit nicely in there. I do like whenever the port feels like it's uh, it's snug with the way that it's plugged in. I'm gonna to try to do this in a way where you can actually see it. All right, plug it in, my plug's over here. So it's plugged in. And let's see what happens. So there's a little light on the inside. It's kind of hard to see because of the light that's here in my house. It's a red light that's there on the inside. And I presume that's all it's supposed to do for now. I'm gonna read the instructions on it in a little bit, but it's just lit up. You can kind of see inside of there to show that it's actually um, it's actually charging. So I'm gonna charge this bad boy up and we'll come back once it's charged and let's, we'll do some mixing. All right, we are back, we are charged. This is what it looked like uh, whenever it was done charging. It just kind of put out a green glow. Now my other cup that I've got actually has a flasher and then it stops flashing whenever it's done. So this one's a little bit harder to see whenever it's finished. Not that big of a difference, but uh, it wasn't as obvious whenever it was completed um, as far as uh, being fully charged. So, you know, a couple of things about this cup too. You know, and really my other cup that I have as well is regular shaker cups, they're just getting to the point where they're so cheaply made and that's why they're only costing you like you know, sometimes $10 and a lot of people are just giving them away is, is they're su such a thin plastic and they just don't hold up. Uh, both of my shaker cups, <clears throat> different different brands, are they both have this really nice, like, I mean, that hurts, like an outside plastic. This is a really nice thick plastic. So this isn't the cheap plastic that you would get. I mean, it's still plastic, but it's a much thicker plastic. I feel like if I drop this, I would not worry about uh, it, it breaking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration. I have my favorite protein, my ISO pure whey isolate protein. I like this because it's easy on my stomach. The regular stuff makes my stomach uh, and other parts of my body gurgle and make strange noises. So that stuff's really easy on the stomach. As soon as I started taking this stuff, all that weird noise stuff stopped and the smell stuff, so whatever. Um, you know, one of the things I noticed whenever I was looking into the booklet here is my other cup that I've got from another brand, uh, had, when you push the button to start it, it has two different settings. One that you can press real quick for a 30 second spin, and then another one you hit it twice, and it's supposed to go for two minutes if for some reason you wanted to mix something for two minutes. I never really do. This one does not say that on the booklet. Um, this one just says, you, once the powder is in, you activate it, and then it says deactivate it after like, five to 10 seconds. It makes it sound like it's actually going to be a manual stop. We'll see if that's the case. So I'm gonna start it, let it run for a little bit. I'm also gonna show you kind of what this looks like. Now, um, the instructions actually say, fill it with water. I'm gonna push this down here so we can see. So it says to fill it with water, which I've done. They do have on this cup, it's hard to see here. I wonder if I can flip it until I find it. There is a measuring thing somewhere here. Uh, there it is, real light. It looks like it's in ounces, which is nice. Some of the, my other cup I've got has a measuring thing on it, but it's not in any sort of measurement that I understand. So this is kind of nice. I still kind of eyeball it, but if you're very specific about how much you want to put in, that's nice that it's an easily understandable um, weighing system. So it does want you, these cups typically, they want you to put the liquid in, then start it, and then put the powder and stuff in. But see what happens is when you start these, it spins it into like a vortex. And what happens is the liquid then pushes up the sides of the cup. So if you fill it up to here, there's a chance that it could actually spill over a little bit. So what I prefer to do is go ahead and put my liquid in first and then put my powders in. And I've seen no negative impact from doing it this way. 
So put my powder in there and then I'll put the lid on. And when I put the lid on, something that I do think is important to mention here is I put the lid on and I open the top because some of your powders, when you mix them, create some sort of gas and some sort of pressure inside of the cup. And so what this will do is it will make sure that there is a pathway for that stuff to get out so it doesn't, when you open it, it doesn't pop and blow up all over the place. So I'm gonna push this down a little bit more and I'm gonna hit the button here. And let's just see, I'm gonna hit it once. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit and see if it stops on its own. I'm actually gonna start a timer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it as soon as I hit the button and let's see if it go, if it stops on its own. So my other cup, cup, like I said, stops at 30 seconds. And by the way, I can see the liquid from where I filled it up. It's at the brim. It's actually almost coming out the little top here. So it looks like this is, it did come out the top just a little bit. So this really is powerful because it pushed more up on the sides than I expected. Um, so a couple of things here then to note is one is my other cup, I can hit the button, which I like and I can walk away from it for 30 seconds and it'll stop on its own. This one does not have that. This one, you do have to physically stop it from, uh, from spinning, which it might be fine for you. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I just prefer the other way. I'm gonna use this cup just as much as that other one still. And so now let's take a quick look here. Let me go ahead and put my camera back on here so we can see. This looks, let me open it. And so, I mean, it made it pretty frothy on top. Um, we'll see if that equates. You can see there's a, there's a bit of uh, aeration there at the top level from this. Uh, let's see how this ends up playing out whenever I taste and give it a shot, see how well it actually mixed it up. Again, for me, it's all about the chunkies. I can't handle that. That'll drive me nuts. I'll pitch something, I'll pour it down the sink if I feel like it did not mix well. So let's take a test here. Perfect, like zero anything to it whatsoever. Now, the isolate does tend to blend much nicer than like a heavier non-isolate type of protein or maybe a meal replacement. But this is, uh, from a quality standpoint, just as good uh, as my other cup that I have. So from a mixing quality, it does the thing that I needed to do, which is the reason that I'll end up using this just as much as that other one, even though it doesn't have the automatic stop, not a big deal, I'll sit here uh, and, and hit the button to make it stop on its own. The big thing for me is I don't like wasting supplement powder because it did not mix well enough. And even as I look here at the bottom, I'm just not seeing anything floating, anything like that. Like a boss. Perfect. So that is the pro mix. Um, if you're into something like this, again, the link's going to be in the description down below. It's a high quality. It charged quick. Like I said, it only took probably an hour to charge. It says in the book two to five hours, but they all kind of say that this one was much quicker. It is just as good of a quality. It's actually a little bit wider than some of the other cups that I've had before, but I think the measurements on it is probably going to be about the same. Uh, it's well made. The bottom of it's got a little bit of like a plastic thing on it to keep it from sliding around. So am I a fan of the Pro Mix? Yeah, I'm glad that I've got this. I shouldn't have drank all that this at once because now my stomach's full of air. Oh boy. Let's end the video. A link in the description down below if you're interested in this um, pro mix. Thanks y'all so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful in helping you make a decision and uh, I'm, I'm pumped. So thanks y'all. See you on the next video.